Thursday at nine on Watch. It's the um, am I right? I think it's the last in the series of. Oh. It's the last of series three. Yes, last of series three. And uh, which has been your what's been your favourite um, magic? I don't want I don't want to say trick. Do I say trick or illusion or? You can say whatever you like, Jamie. Like. Okay. What's been your favourite <laughs> bit? What's been your highlight? I think series three. Every every week, you know, I kind of rewatch the episodes because I watch it as at the same time as the people at home, so I can tweet along with them. And I always think, oh, this is my favourite one. Oh, this is my favourite one. And I keep forgetting the things that we've done over the series. But I think New York, the first episode, was definitely one of my favourites because we got caught in Hurricane Sandy whilst we was out there. Sure. You know, and oh that kind of, that was just, you know, life threatening, you know, and really scary. But yet, amazing at the same time, seeing the way that New Yorkers came together and all the people came together to rebuild the city. Mm. So it kind of, you know, it, it took it away from the magic and just made it a bit more emotional and put a lot more of my heart and soul into that, into it. Um, so I was really proud of that episode and the magic in that, which kind of, it does kind of fit the whole theme and show off how amazing the people in New York, you know, are. But then this last episode that's on on Thursday, this was exciting because it's the some of the biggest guests I've ever had in the show or in the series ever. And there's so many of them. We've got... <laughs> We've got, a f- I've got, I'll give you a few names there. We've got David Coulthard right. in there. Go for a little wow. crazy drive with him. We've got Keith Lemon. Hey. Need I say any more about that guy? <laughs> you know, the professional Richard Branson impersonator. Right. Yeah. Um, and then we've got, we've got the, uh, the legend that is Samuel L. Jackson. <gasps> wow, yeah. So there's a lot to look forward Amazing. to in this one. So. Have you ever done? I've always been intrigued, and I don't know whether you're going to answer me honestly if I ask you. But is there, have you ever done? Has anything kind of gone wrong? Have you ever done something and it hasn't worked out the way you'd expected it to? Things never really go wrong per se because I'm improvising so much. But a lot of the times, even I don't know when it's going to go. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. So and sometimes even if I do have an idea well how I want to finish the piece of magic the person who's watching it doesn't know what's going to happen. So if it's going kind of off track a little bit, in my head, I can reroute it to make it still magical, but mm. it might end differently. But the person watching is none the wiser. Sure. Oh, okay. Unless they've listened to this interview and now right. they know. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess no. if you're doing things that have never been done before, then as we quite rightly say, then no one knows how it ends. So it's yeah, kind of up exactly. to you, really. But that's what's good about my job. Like every day is different. You know, I never know where I'm going to be or who I'm going to be performing for. And even the people I perform for, their reaction is always different. You can never kind of predict. I mean, I can predict some things at times, but you can't really predict how people are going to react, you know. Well, yeah. you say that, though, but everyone, you kind of get the same. There's that sort of sense of, that sort of childish sense of wonder, isn't there, when you kind of see people? Do you ever, does that never, do you ever tire of that as a reaction to what you do? I don't think I could ever tire of it. If anything, it gives me more energy. Because as we grow older, we get more cynical, you know, the world kind of becomes more like we know so much more about the world Mm. as we get older. So we've got everything at the touch of a button. And I think we kind of lose the magic in life a little bit. But then when people, when I perform and when people watch the magic and it kind of brings them back to that childlike state of mind and they're giddy and excited about it, it Mm. kind of makes me giddy and excited. Have you ever used magic to try and get a girlfriend? (laughs) All the time. (laughs) Do you find it makes you more attractive to women if you can do magic? I just think it's my natural, you know, good looks. Do that. <laughs> of course it is. So have you got, um, have you got like anything you can show us today? I know it's t- tricky on the radio, obviously. I don't know how I'm going to top your guys' magic. Well, you show me some amazing Well, I know. Mm. See, this well, is the thing. I've been practising that. It's, uh, it's quite good. We'll try a little something. I don't know how this is going to play on the radio, but if you're filming this on the webcam, then some people will be able to get to see it. Oh, but right. make sure, yeah, we'll make sure it, you, we'll... you don't like my video more than theirs because <laughs> they're in the competition. I'm not in the competition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as so, you'd imagine, Dynamo always carries a pack of cards with him. I always think that's brilliant. Just, sh- just shuffling. 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 You shuffling can hear the cards are being shuffled. That's like a trick. Can you verify for the people at home? Is They're that yeah, a shuffle? Shuffle. real shuffle? I can't even shuffle them without them flying out my head. Do I have to shuffle? Oh, yes. Oh, man. Don't look. Because this will be painful for you. Right. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Take a card out. Okay, anyone, do I pull it out? Yeah, pull it out. Do I look at it? Look at it. Um, show it to this camera here. I'm not looking. There we go. Can't see that. Ems, you get that? Yeah, I got it. Take a card as well. Oh, I get to take one. Thank you. Yeah. Look at it. Show it to the camera. Do I look Ooh. at that? Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Don't let him look at it. Come on. I'll place Jamie's card there. It's about halfway down. Yeah. Roughly. Jamie's card. And then I'll take Emma's card. 
I'm going to put that in the middle. Mm-hmm. I'll give him a shuffle. In fact, I'm going to give him a dynamo shuffle like oh, this. Oh, yeah, let me see that. <gasps> oh, he does a oh, little dance God, move that... to it as well. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Jamie, you can do that. Here we go. It's brilliant. It's like a kind of Peter Crouch's robot with cards. <laughs> first card like this one, just give it a little slap like that. That's one. <laughs> yeah. Is that yours? No way. That's mine, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first card, the king. That's brilliant. Um, do it again. So I'll place yours there. All right, I'll try yeah. it with Emma's. Okay. <gasps> right. Hang on a minute. Right, hold on, yeah, that's your card. <laughs> I got Jamie's card again, but Jamie's card's on the desk right there in front of us. How'd you do yes. that? Yes. Do you want to turn it over? Of course. Oh my God, it's mine. Yeah! Oh! Brilliant. Good stuff. That well, look, it's so a real good, thrill. Isn't it? Uh, the last episode then of Dynamo's Magician Impossible this Thursday at 9 on Watch Dynamo thank you so much thank for coming in today so thank you so much it's a real thrill Dynamo how Yay! about that <laughs>